Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of HVAC Education Hub channel. In this episode, I will cover how to calculate each underfloor heating circuit and how to design system so you can run everything with primary circulation pump without need of buffer or additional, additional vessels. This topic about buffer or non-buffer is never ending story. What is important? It is important to know if your primary circulation pump can ensure on rated flow rate enough pressure drop, you don't need buffer. Maybe you can put buffer on return pipe if you want to control your circuits, because remember, if you have direct configuration with heat pump and heat pump circulator pump going to all underfloor heating circuits, you cannot have secondary regulation like room thermostats. Maybe you can put one or two in your bedrooms, but if you put more than this, more than bedrooms thermostat, when these circuits will be off, your heat pump will be low, will have lower flow rate. Compressor cannot modulate enough flow, especially when outer temperature is plus zero degrees. If system design is not so good. So in that case, you need to have open loop system without buffer, without thermostats. And this is the most efficient way to your house to have efficient heat pump system. What is concern? Uh, on people, they want regulation in each room. So when you want, for example, in bedroom 20 degrees Celsius, in living room 24, in bathroom 25, you want different temperatures. But you can also achieve this with underfloor heating regulation. Not regulation like motor valves, but with, with balancing your circuits. Let's look at one example. We have 9 kilowatt system design, so 9 kilowatt heat, heat load. We have delta T5 and we have 13 underfloor heating circuits. And on this rated 9 kilowatt at delta T5, we have flow rate of 25.8 liter per minute. Oh. What we need to do, we need to calculate each room heat loss. When we calculate each room heat loss, we have delta T of 5, we have specific heat capacity, which is always the same for water, so 4.2 kilojoule per kilogram and Kelvin, and we can calculate flow rate of each underfloor circuit. In our example, we have 13, 13 circuits, and with all 13 heat loads, we have 9 kilowatt, and when we sum up all circuits, we have 25.8 liter per minute. So, for example, circuit one with one kilowatt heat load has 2.9 liter per minute flow rate. Or some other circuits, for example, circuit 11, 400 watt, only 1.1 liter per minute. If we balance our system like this, we will have enough flow rate we will have enough temperature in each room and we don't need room thermostats. If we want to have some room uh, much hotter than another one, we can, we can put much bigger flow rate on this room and lower on another room. So with this approach, we can ensure that our system will be efficient. What is important? It is important to know what is our pressure drop. So we need to see pump diagram. For example, Panasonic 9 kilowatt circulator pump for 25.8 liter per minute. Flow rate can, on nominal uh, speed, can have 31 kilopascal pressure drop. On maximum speed, it could be even 100 kilopascal. What it means? It means that for each, let's say for normal house, for two or three floors and 
not so much uh, circuits, so whatever house it is, it can ensure enough flow rate on enough pressure drop. For example, on underfloor heating, pressure drop is around 15 kilopascal, the highest pressure drop. This still our pump can, can achieve this. So it is important to know that if we design system, hydraulic system on good way, we can have directly our heat pump moving our water around. Thank you for watching. Subscribe on our channel and see you next time.